Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is part one of a backyard makeover. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on cleaning up behind this little shed thing that I had built with things that we already had that I was going to throw all these things away, minus the shutters. I bought those separately, but um, I had all that lying around and I ended up building this little hut I guess is what I can call it. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it, but, and I painted it and stuff, but behind all of this is just a bunch of junk that I'm going to be cleaning up. And my plan is I want to level out the area back here because the yard actually goes up um, towards the fence. It's like, just kind of like a hill. That's why I actually put the hut forward where it is right now. And I plan on moving this back but that is what is going to be in today's video. It's just cleaning and stuff. And if y'all are new to my channel, hi, my name is Monica. I am a mom of three. I have two teen sons. One just graduated and I have a 14 year old son. My oldest is 18. And then I have a baby girl who is 10 months old. So yeah, my kids are pretty, uh, <laughs> their ages are kind of spread around. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this video. So a couple summers ago, we had actually taken down our pool and we had put so much money, well not we, my husband put so much money into that pool with the shock and all that to keep it clean and it just, we could not keep it clean and it wasn't worth it to us to put, you know, empty it all out and add more water. So I'm just taking all the parts to the pool and all the stuff that I'm putting along that fence line will be either donated or going to the dump. I the big tub, but I can't because I pulled it and it broke. So I was like, oh. so then I have to empty it to make it lighter and then move it. And it's got water too. Dusting for your touch and the way you move, you hypnotize me with your lips. You've got me losing control, waiting on you to make your move. It's all on you.
So as y'all can see, we even had our Christmas tree <laughs> back there. We had so much stuff back there and um, I just, so eventually, I might have said this already, but all the stuff that I'm lining up around the fence, we will be getting rid of, whether it goes to the dump, whether it gets burned or we give it away to someone who wants it. But right now I'm going to empty this tub out that is full of water. The tub is just trash because I tried to pull it and I broke it and it has just been sitting outside forever. So I'm gonna empty this all out and get, this is the pool all wrapped up. And the pool we actually cannot give away to people but we might be able to give them like the pump if they need a pump or the pool ladder. There are some things that we can give away but a lot of it we cannot give to anybody because it has a hole and I know people can patch it but it's really, just been sitting outside like not covered or anything I don't really feel like it's worth it you know unless someone's that desperate to have a pool but it honestly would just be a lot cheaper in the long run if they were to just buy a pool or find another one that is in better condition but anyways I'm working on clearing this little area out and let's get back into it <laughs> Okay, so right now my dog Jack and I are in the shed and I was just kind of showing you guys it is kind of a mess in here and I have got to get to that the rototiller because I need to loosen up that ground back there and if y'all have been here for a while you already know our yard is really hard like clay and we did we redid most of it but we didn't do the section that has gravel in the section behind that little um, hut thing that I built so I can't you know plus even if we did redo it like I need to just smooth it like make it lower so I'm trying to level it out so I'm working on getting the rototiller right now and that is what I'll be working on next. These are the colors that come. Okay, y'all, it is a new day. 
Um, I didn't get to do anything else outside um, when I was working on the yard, but I did get everything. And there's like a piece of wood that's in the ground, but I got for the most part everything out from behind that little um, shed hut thing that I built. She hut, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, right now my daughter is asleep. So I figured this is the best time to attempt. She might wake up. She is such a light sleeper. She's just like me. Um, but I'm going to try to weed eat back there and then hopefully be able to take the rototiller and level out the ground. So that is what we're working on right now. Also, I have this giant cup of coffee. I'm totally in the bathroom. I was getting ready and stuff. My makeup was way too dark, so I had to like wipe some of it off. But yeah, so let's get into it. <clears throat> okay, so I am in the garage and my husband picked up this. It was, um, these are battery, they're cordless or cordless. Oh my gosh. Well, they're cordless. They're battery operated They're You don't need gas, um, for the weed eater. And these were on sale at Lowe's, I believe, or no, not Lowe's, Home Depot, I think. Um, and it was, they would have been like almost 200 and I think he picked them up for a hundred. He's like, ah, I don't know if I should get it. And I'm like, well, you're never going to see it that cheap again. So you might as well grab it. But it came with this. And it came with a battery and it came with the um, the little leaf blower thing too. So hopefully there's enough battery power. I, sh I was supposed to put that on the charger yesterday and I forgot. But um, so I'm going to take the weed eater out there and get to work. The battery just died. <laughs> Okay, so, so much for that. I should have just listened to my husband when he said it needs to be charged. <laughs> I totally spaced it. Um, but anyways, that's on the charger. I have no idea how long it's going to take until it's done. So I can hold off on that. I don't need to weed eat before rototill, but it would make it a lot easier because I don't want the grass tangling up. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can just try But actually, the funny thing is my daughter woke up. <laughs> so I don't know when I'm gonna get to this so stay tuned okay while I am waiting for that to charge right now I am making some oatmeal for myself and my daughter we're gonna share because oatmeal gives me so much energy and I just I need it um but I don't know if you could see earlier in the garage I got a ton of free paint so I'm gonna show you all that real quick right now <laughs> And we still have balloons all over the place in the house from my son's birthday. But, um, so anyways, I got all of this and I got, also picked up some free Christmas decor. There's like huge pine cones in there, but anyways, and then I got these three things here and all of that. And 
all of, not the Coke, but all this stuff. Some of this is like, let me see. What is that? Um, stain proof color. It's uh, for grout. Stuff. For, so I have stuff for grout. I have two of those. I have a ton. All of these are not like new. So, but I grabbed them. You know, I took all of them. Um, let's see. And then I have wallpaper stripper. Not that I have wallpaper, but I grabbed that too because she said take it all. But what's funny is when I got there, she was like, you don't have to take it all. I was like, no, don't go back on what you said in your post. It's fine. I got some sealer. I got more, um, some actual wallpaper paste. So I don't know if I ever want to have wallpaper. This is pretty empty as you could hear, but I do a lot of like different kinds of projects. So I figured like any little bit counts. So I just took it all. Um, but let me show you guys. So let's see, like this one is pretty full and what's it say? This is, okay, well, it's that color. I, one of them, some of them you can read them and some you can't, <laughs> but let me see here. Let's see, infinity. Um, but yeah, you can see it says SW up here, which is Sherwin Williams. Like it, they're good paints, you know. I don't know what this is. Let me see. This is bare paint. Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. Got paint and primer. Love that. So happy about that. Hold on. Okay. This is the one. This is the one that I liked. I am at least looking at the color right here. It looks pretty. Um, they used it for their dining room and downstairs bathroom. But it is. This is Valspar. And it's Desert Fortress. It looks pretty. It's kind of. I don't know. It's funny because it looks like the color that I have mixed and made myself. Um, and I think this one was the one. Let's see. Okay, there's more. So if I do end up using that color, which honestly, looking at that color right there on the right here, it's a little too light for something I would like. But you never know. I like how this looks. It almost looks like agreeable gray. This is interior infinity. I think that's what it's called. Okay, it's like stuck. And there's like a light taupe. I like how that looks too. It actually looks like agreeable gray. So I don't know. I just thought it was cool. But there's not there's not only those colors. There's like this weird kind of gray color. It looks kind of kind of purplish. This is pretty empty, but there is another one that's full. It has like a weird bluish purplish light colored tint to it. And I can't really see what it says. Some kind of gray though, but. Um, oh, and there's another desert fortress. So I have like three or two, this is, I probably have two full cans altogether of that color alone. And I don't know what this is. Let me grab this out. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. Huh. It's kills sealer, primer, and stain blocker. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. I just have all this stuff. What's this? Is this 
Oh, I didn't even, I didn't know what this is. I didn't even look. Oh yeah, tile adhesive, which is really cool because I've actually been wanting some of this just in case. <laughs> I also got this little, um, little stain or dusty metal primer, not stain. And I got this little paint and primer, which is cool. And <clears throat> I got this also. And this says Cobble Brown. Probably won't be using that anytime soon. I'm not really into the browns right now. There's another one of those bluish gray, purplish looking colors. And I already showed you this one, I think. String of Pearls. It's um, just some pearly looking color. It just looks white to me. There's that color again. And I have this also. Dusty lead, and it looks like that. So y'all know I won't be using that anytime soon because I just don't want any gray in my house. I liked it before, a long time ago. I had a lot of gray accents, but it's just, it felt too cold and like not inviting or anything like that. Okay, so that's kind of hard to see but let's see. I just like looking at the paper when they spill it all over the place oh my gosh kind of like a creamy white color and then I got I already showed you guys that thing so there is like a dark color. What's that say? I don't know. I cannot see. But that's what that looks like. More gray that I will not be using <laughs> anytime soon. And there's so many. I'm like out of breath. I have this, which is premium roof or roof cement for repairs and stuff so it's kind of empty well a little it's not full but and then I have this thing right here too more of the sealer and stain blocker um and then I have this this is I think this is the last thing I have this right here Paint in primer. So, oh my goodness. So I have plenty of stuff for projects. Um, so I'm happy about that because I would, I've been wanting to redo the bathrooms and our bathroom, our master bathroom definitely needs paint. It's not been painted since we moved in. And the boys bathroom has like a light blue, which I actually want to change up also. And we did get a new um, shower curtain, not new, but I got it from the thrift, or no, I got it from a yard sale and they were saying um, five bucks to fill a bag. So I stuck it in there as, uh, along with a ton of clothes that I got for five bucks. And I'm going to turn you around and show you the Christmas stuff that I got for free yesterday. So I saw a post <clears throat> on OfferUp for a bunch of free stuff. There was a ton more than what I grabbed, but when I got there, it was pretty much like gone through. But, so I grabbed as much as I could because I figured I drove all that way. I wasn't going to leave with nothing. <laughs> but anyways, got these two bows or ribbons. They're like still on the little packaging. So they're new. I grabbed that. I grabbed a bunch of picks. I don't even know how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, somehow. Eight. Uh, there's at least like 10 or so. And then there's a bunch of this and it's all tangled. So I'm not even going to try to do that right now. And then there's like little ribbons that are tied onto here, which I can take off. I can add these onto wreaths or like whatever I want. And what else? Oh, and I found a little angel. So that's cool because we have a star that we got from a garage sale last year, but we couldn't find it. So I know we have it somewhere, but um, but I got an angel is what I wanted to put on top of the tree. And then there's like this garland also, the green with the gold tinsel stuff in it. So that is one box. Bunch of stuff. Put that all in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, one of the bows actually fell off, so it has like a little twist tie. Um, so that's cute. And I think this one, yeah, this one has the lights, and so this one plugs in. I grabbed that. That was like the first thing I grabbed. I was like, oh my gosh, for free. That's a good deal. And put that in there. And then I grabbed this like bouquet or bouquet of faux flowers. I thought they were cute because they're white. You could just use it for all year long, whatever you want. And look at all these pipes. Look at this one. It's so weird. <laughs> but, yeah, they're huge. Anyways, so, I know it's almost summertime, <laughs> but you guys should keep your eyes peeled because everyone else is getting rid of their old Christmas stuff, so you can find all kinds of great deals on that. And I also grabbed a... You doing baby i grabbed a wreath that was free also sitting out there i thought okay that i lied the wreath was the first thing i saw i was like i'm gonna grab that real quick so i'm gonna turn you around and show you that so that is the wreath i think it's really pretty even though you can see this part but i haven't even messed with it like i can move it all around and stuff i just I just hung it on the wall just so I could remember about it, you know, and remember like, hey, put this somewhere. But for right now, <laughs> it's all like uneven, just hanging up uh, on this wall. <laughs> well, hello. Did you have a good five minute nap? <laughs> Did you have a good nap? Jalen is 10 months old now. You're 10 months. What are you eating? What do you have? Nothing. You got nothing? I have to cut her nails so bad and she is not allowing me to. For days, I keep trying. And so, I don't know. I'm going to have to keep trying. Because they're getting pretty long and I tried to file them too and she won't let me. She is at that age. <laughs> okay, so the oatmeal is done. I like to add a little bit of butter. But butter <laughs> butter a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of um cinnamon even though i'm gonna share it with her but you know it's fine usually it's not that watery but last time i didn't add a bunch of stuff i think i just added the cinnamon um but it's fine i'll brush her two little teeth don't worry and today is going to be really hot so i'm actually gonna go out and water our bare spots in our grass because I just want the grass to grow. We, um, well, I, I didn't, um, my husband spread grass seed and stuff. So we're trying to get our grass to grow in the bare spots. So hopefully sooner than later, it's, it's a, it's a process. I tell you what. In my mouth is a desert. Run me dry on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Taste your lies, how to measure the love you throw around. I could never 
Oh, that is the umbrella for $35. I think that Walmart. Yeah, it's pretty cute. When we had um, the birthday party for Jace, I wanted to actually, I was thinking of putting the treadmill in my room. I would like to put it in the laundry room, but we just don't have space for it in there. We don't really have space for it in my room either, but like, I don't feel like a treadmill should be out in this area. So I'm thinking of making space for it in there. I'm not gonna do that today, but I just need to figure out what I want to do. We also have a headboard and footboard for our, or we have a bed, like headboard and stuff, in the shed. And I totally forgot about it until yesterday when I was pulling out the um, rototiller. I was like, oh my goodness, like maybe I should just do that. We don't actually have a box spring. Our bed, our mattress is sitting like on a piece of, um, a huge piece of like plywood. At least I think it's one piece. I don't know. But it's plywood that it's sitting on. So I was wondering like if I would measure the plywood and take that whole bed thing that my husband made. It was just like a real quick thing. It wasn't like he's in love with it. It was just something real quick. A quick fix. But I was kind of thinking like we could put our bed on that. Just put our mattress on. I don't know. Just I got so many things that I keep thinking about doing but they're really not like necessary so I just don't do them but anyways I'm gonna get her out of her little crib look what she does now you guys hold on look at her she's been sitting up on her knees without holding on to stuff you so cute <laughs> her little feet look at your little feeties you want to change it's getting kind of warm now Let's go get you dressed. I have her in this cute little shirt and little shorts, and then I'm wearing this Forever 21 sweatshirt crop top thing. I know, I shouldn't be wearing those clothes, but you know what? I thought it said Forever 31, but it didn't, so it's no big deal.